All right, hey guys, I ordered this. Um, it's a hot knife foam cutter hot wire kit off eBay, and uh, it's it's a styrofoam styrofoam engraving tip. Um, it was kind of expensive. It was like a total of thirty-five bucks for the red one that has uh, all of the tips and stuff and the controller in it. So I I'm gonna do a, an unboxing basically. It came in the mail, and I'm just going to show you guys about it. Um, I don't really care for unboxings, but I'll show you what's in it. This power controller right here. That's kind of uh, kind of neat. This is the reason I picked this one over the other ones, is so that I could control the heat of the wire. Um, so that came in the box. Um, here is the widespread one. It came in the box um, and here's the wire on here I don't know if you can see that they kind of wrapped it on a foam I assume that uh, there's a little lip here oh no it's a little there's a little edge or a, uh, a notch I should say on the edge of both of these and I'm sure the wire goes across there um, came with this looks like some sort of a Chinese instructions yeah seriously no English on there wow okay um, Chinese certificate of quality that means a lot to me all right and then we have this handle here this is the um, the handle and inside is two little I don't know if you can see those two little prongs um, if you can see it in that camera yeah there you go you can see the two little prongs inside and then there's a power port on the back where this power supply would plug into it, like so. And it's a little tight. I guess that's good though. You don't want it too loose. So there you go. That fits on there. And then also in the box we have two of these wire tips that also fit on the gun. Um, the ends of these appear to be very similar to each other. I don't, I don't see much difference in them and I don't know why they gave me two of them. Um, in case one clogs or something, I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, they look to be exactly the same on the ends. I don't see any difference between them. Will that camera focus on that? Anyway, so yeah, they, they're really the same. So, let's go ahead nothing else in the box so we're done with that box and I when I ordered it it didn't take very long it only took a few days online uh, that's probably because I didn't get the very cheapest one I could get I got uh, one that was close uh, one of the closest ones I could find that had this dial controller on it so let's go ahead take the um, one of these and they're you know they've got little notches in them so it fits only this way, probably the other way. Yep, both ways. So that's one. Okay, and then we've got this uh, power supply. Let's go ahead and unwire that. Might help if I spin the wire the right way. And then we'll unwire this one. Okay, and then let's go ahead and uh, plug it in to my outlet here. All right, feels a little loose in my outlet compared to other things I've plugged in. So something to keep in mind maybe. Now let's uh, go ahead and plug this into here. And we are gonna wait a little while for it to warm up. And I will go ahead and uh, fast forward to that point. Oh, it might feel a little heat coming out. Let's gonna go ahead and turn this sucker all the way up. Let's crank this puppy all the way up on high. All right, it's been a couple of minutes, and I've got two different kinds of foam here. I have what was sort of a camping yoga mat foam. Um, if you can see, it's kind of more rubbery sort of 
And then I also have this pink insulation foam, which is typical of what I've seen um, these kind of projects online. So we'll start with this um, and see how it goes. So here's the uh, here's the cutter, and here's the foam. Let's see what happens. So if I touch it on there, oh, it's like butter, kind of, yeah. Well, I'm not pressing very hard, and it just kind of si sipped off a piece. Wow, can you see that? Huh. It left a little bit of uh, smoking residue on the end of the the knife, I guess you call this, uh, hot wire. Let's try it again. Oh, wow. It just cut right in there, and you can see that it's shrinking. Well, watch this from this from this angle here. So yeah, you can get a little creative with that. Cut off pieces, and uh, yeah, there's it's kind of stringy, like there's spider webs kind of coming off of here. Um, but and it's not too hot. In fact, it's already cold and and hard. Interesting. And you've got these little pieces that come off and of course you just slice right through those kind of nice there's some smoke coming off of this thing and so you probably want to uh, make sure that you have some ventilation and don't breathe that smoke that can't possibly be good for you all right now we're gonna try this other kind of foam and I don't know um, how well it's gonna cut so let's go ahead right here and you watch from there and we'll go ahead and make a cut okay so not nearly as smooth or fast it's I'm putting more pressure on it it's kind of popping and it stinks a little more it definitely stinks yeah I don't think the cutter works well for this kind of foam that would be my assessment for this kind of styrofoam it's more rubbery doesn't cut that great so it's the rigid foam the hard rigid foam is really where this thing just cuts right on through look at that that is just like wow so smooth so easy cool okay so we've tried cutting the blue foam and I wouldn't recommend it it's, it doesn't work very good and uh, yeah wouldn't recommend it the hard pink foam seems to be what this was made for it works really well highly recommended that you use it on the hard pink foam now we do have some other foam that we'd like to try this here is from an ICF block um, ICF is an insulated concrete form for a house and I happen to have one of these blocks here um, and a piece of one broke off so I wanted to see if it would cut that this is a lot like open cell foam um, oh wow and it cuts right on through that if you can see it's quite stinky but it does cut right on through it like butter Look at that. Wow. Okay. And it's cooled off and hardened already, as you can see. So it cuts it pretty good on that kind of foam. Now, we have some packaging foam that came with, with something else I bought. As you can see, this is a pretty dense version of packaging foam. And so, does it cut this as well? Let's go ahead and try it. Yes, it does. Not as easily as the ICF foam or the pink foam, but it does cut this packaging foam. And it seems like it does a pretty smooth job of cutting it. Um, there's a little shrinkage, as you can see. The piece that was cut off versus the size of the, of the hole. Um, they shrank when they got cut. Okay, we have one more kind of foam I want to try and use it on. And uh, this is very similar to the ICF foam. 
it's a dirty piece but um, it's just regular one inch packaging styrofoam and let's go ahead and cut a piece of this and see how well it works cuts right like butter wow look at that let's go ahead and try and do something a little creative okay and let's go up oh wow if you uh, move the knife inward and outward I think it hits more hot spots and you can actually move faster so there we go look at that why why would you anyone want to do this good question good question so yeah look at that and hot knife goes right on through it and it's quite smoky I have a fan on um, but you might choose to and I'm in the garage with the door open you may choose to do something you know a little more extreme maybe wear a respirator um, or two <laughs> get a bigger fan maybe yeah something so let's uh yeah but you could get really creative with this thing look at that you can carve your letters kind of round them up a bit And I'm sure I can get even more creative, but this is just a test. Just to see what I can do with this foam cutting hot wire. You know, I've always wanted one of these things. But, you know, I didn't want to waste any money on it. This one? Eh. It was pretty expensive. I mean, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. But I have some art projects coming up. Uh... For Sunday school class and I thought you know what this is gonna work out good so there you go let's go ahead and try the other wire I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off with a dial and let's go ahead and wire this up um, see it's got the wire here on a piece of foam interestingly enough we'll get rid of some of this other stuff too we don't need it And then we uh, okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure out how this hot wire goes on. This is a very thin wire, and it seems to be tied to itself at the end. I hope that was correct. All right. So and then. Yes, it's just like a really thin wire, like like the smallest guitar string, actually even smaller than that. Let's see, how, how long is this? And it appears to be more than enough. So, let's go ahead and go to the notch on the end and wrap it around a f couple of times, a few times, and then come back and like a bread tie wrap it around itself now I don't know if that's the proper way to install this but I, I would assume you wanted you wanted a good connection so the heat can transfer um, and then on the other side you probably want to stretch it a little bit pull it get it nice and tight to and pull those arms in just a hair and then we're gonna uh, cut this string just going to use a pair of old scissors I've got laying around cut the string and then wrap it around the post a few times and then again around itself like that okay and there you have it one wire okay one hot wire let's go ahead and change heads uh, this should pull off of here, and it does. 
and then this one should go on and make sure you're not touching the wire when you stick it on there because I honestly think it gets hot pretty fast so right, I'm gonna crank up the the knob here the heat knob oh yeah it's already smoking and turning red I don't know if you can see that but wow that wire turned red um, let's go ahead and try using it to cut with oh wow super duper quick right through it just like but on not even butter wow like a laser that's amazing it just cut right on through that stuff look at that like wow let's go cut that edge off boom you guys see that that's just just bizarre this thing is so so quickly to cut through in fact it's so quick that it almost melts itself back together let's try it on this pink foam and see how, see what happens okay oh wow look at that it's just cutting right on through it like butter seriously and ta-da look at that wow make sure you don't touch that thing that thing like I said is red hot and it made a very smooth cut that is a nice nice tool I'm gonna see if I turn it down the thing is almost scary don't want to touch that that burn you instantly okay and plug off the end and set that aside good thing my desk is metal now let's see if it's still hot actually no nope it's not hot enough to melt the plastic anymore so it must cool pretty fast so we'll try it up here no nope. okay well that's interesting and then I have a second you can call this a wand maybe and you just stick that in there oh, and it's off the, the machine is off so okay well there you have it very interesting um, at least a little interesting for you folks who are thinking about getting one of these now you can uh, now you know what they do what they cost I would definitely recommend the one with the knob and the heat setting if you plan on being creative at all and uh, that's all I got enjoy